So welcome everybody to Collaborating Agents. Um, we have today with us Noelle Kennedy, who's going to talk a little bit about um, how to do some mass email campaigns and then also about some changes coming up uh, with mass email where you won't be able to use um, an email address that doesn't have a domain name attached to it. So Noelle, take it away. Okay. Hi guys. Um, I'm Noelle Kennedy. Um, I am with eXp and our team is Shore to Sea Properties. Um, I'm on, I'm in New Jersey on the, on the shore. And so um, we specialize in uh, waterfront properties and 55 plus as well as uh, residential properties. Um, what I wanna to talk to you today is about um, writing and sending effective uh, email campaigns and, uh, and the changes that are coming about. In fact, they've already started, uh, they started in February and come April 1st, um, they'll be fully in place. And I think a lot of people are gonna be shocked um, when their email campaigns are not sending and when their domains get blacklisted. Um, come on, here we go. Come on. You don't have to click on the arrows. If you just click on the right side of the screen, it'll change. Yeah, it oh, seems you don't, to be you don't have it in those. You don't have it in present. Go over to the right hand side on the two arrows that are going in opposite directions and click on that. Bottom right. There you go. Okay. Now you should just be able to click on the right side of the screen and it'll change for you. Okay. Um when we when we craft our email campaigns, we want to be able to um not only get get them delivered. Um, but we want them to get opened and we want to move our subscribers to uh, do something. And so we have to make sure that um, our settings are set up correctly and that we're clear with our message and that our messages are personalized and enough to get our people to, to do what we'd like them to do. Um, one of the things that I do, I'm, I'm not an in English major, um, I'm not an exceptional writer, um, but I use chat GPT to help me write and um, work effectively in this. Um, I use it to brainstorm, um, I tell it campaign goals, and I tell it target audiences, and basically what I'm, I'm looking to write. Um, and I go into quite quite the detail. Um, I tell them, I tell Chat GPT exactly who I'm writing to. I tell them the leather, the the level of their understanding. Um, I tell them, uh, I tell Chat GPT what their pain points is, and I also tell them what kind of voice to write it in. Like, uh, I want it professional. I want it friendly. Um, I want it to be understanding. Um, and I wanted to be able to explain very well. Um, and then I also give it some key points of what I would like it to be included in the email. I also have it draft several subject lines um, to, to test and to get a good idea of um, what I think will make someone open the email. And then after everything's done and I've massaged it and I've written it, rewritten it in my own words, um, I send it back into chat GPT and to um, have it do a final draft for me and a final refinement. After that is all done and I've accepted it and I'm happy with it, I then um, have it draft several social media pieces of content to go with that um, email so that when people um, are online, they see a coordinating message, which only um, further emphasizes um, who we are and what we're offering. Um, and that's just the basic down and dirty how we how we write um, email campaigns. Um, 
Now, there's some changes that started in February uh, for sending email. And they're general good um, business practices. One, um, you should not, you should be using your own domain. How many of you guys are using your own domain? Not me. How many of you guys are using the broker's domain? Okay. Well, you need for business practices to be using your own domain for your own marketing. And that way um, people know you. Generally speaking, they don't care what brokerage you're with. They're hiring you. The other thing is, you're not looking professional if you're using a Gmail address. I know people disagree with that, but you just you just aren't. There's are so many scammers nowadays that are using Gmail addresses and Yahoo addresses. But here's the next big thing. If you are now marketing with a free email address like Gmail or Yahoo.com, um, you are not, your emails are not going to be delivered. So it, it is time for us to move over and upgrade and, and go to um, our own domain addresses. The other thing that you need to have um, in your emails is a one-step unsubscribe and Gmail wants it in the header right where you would see the to and from in an email address. Um, a lot of applications are are fixing how they set up their unsubscribes and moving to that, but it is not there yet. I know my my sender, um, the unsubscribe is in the footer, but they're moving to move it. Um, and and I'll show you guys this later on because this might not make sense to you. Um, excuse me, but you need to have domain alignment. In other words, you can't be sending from a domain that is um, berkeleyrealestate.com and then your sender address is katie at hillsiderealty.com. You need to have the domain names match in order to go through to get delivered. And there's several things that you want to uh, be aware of when you're doing email campaigns. Um, you want high open rates. Um, you want high click-through rates, high conversion rates, and low unsubscribe rates. Um, basically, the first three is achieved by writing good copy and having a good email address, uh, email list and people that are interested in your services. The unsubscribe is people that want to hear from you. Um, if you don't, they don't want to hear from you, um, they're going to unsubscribe at a rate, at a high rate, which may um, impact Google and Yahoo and other companies uh, delivering your email. Um, a bounce rate. Um, you don't want it to be any higher than 2%. Um, otherwise, it's going to impact your reputation and your deliverability. Um, spam complaint rates. You only want one person out of a 1,000 to complain that you are spamming them. And the way, again, to prevent that is to have people opt in to your emails and to your marketing. Okay, here's the techie part that is scary for um, a lot of people. And that's the dreaded DNS records or domain um, domains. Um, it's an address book for the internet and it helps emails get to the proper destination and verifies the sender's identity. Um, there's three key ones for email deliverability. Uh, the first one is SPF, Sender Policy Framework. 
Um, it helps prevent email spoofing um, by specifying which servers are permitted to send email on behalf of your domain. And I know that means like nothing to probably some of you guys at the moment, but it will make sense in a little bit. There's a DKIM, um, and these are domain keys identified uh, mail. It prevent, it, this prevents um, email phishing and uh, spam. Um, the receiver checks that an email claimed to have been sent from a specific domain was authorized by the owner of the domain. Uh, DMARC, Domain-Based Message Authentication Reporting and <laughs> Conformance. It works with the other two to ensure that the email is authentic and provides instructions on what to do if something doesn't quite match up. Now, one of the tools that you can use, and I suggest everyone uses is Google Postmaster. And you can go in here and you can um, put your domain name in and you start with a domain name, the root domain name, and then it'll ask you to add a record and then it will check that record and it will verify you and it will collect data about your domain's health, your, if you're spam compliant, and delivery errors. Um, it helps you monitor your domain. It, it, it sends authentication reports. It ensures your um, SPF, DCAM, and DMARC are correct. And um, it gives you points, uh, it gives you reports to reduce the complaint rates. Now, does anyone have any questions about what I've said so far? Um, so Vistaprint hosts my website. I own the domain mm -hmm. name and I do have an email address that is attached to that, but it's just info. The reason I don't use that is because my domain name is catwilliamshomes.net. Mm -hmm. And so if I did Cat Williams at Cat Williams Homes, it's just a really long email address. Um, but if I use that info at Cat Williams Homes one, is that sufficient? And then have it, of course, auto forward to my Google like KV Core does. Um, yes, uh, they're, they're more worried about the domain and not what you put it on the other side of the ampersand. Okay. I understand what you're saying because our our real estate group is sure to see properties group. And I made the crazy mistake of going N Kennedy at sure to see properties group dot com. So I'm personally am changing my email address to my initials NMK at sure to see properties group. And that might be an easier handle on it. Be careful using info at, because a lot of um, email providers will go through and discount that as um, not being a person and not deliver to it. Okay. I could probably okay. just do cat at Cat Williams Homes. That would probably be sufficient yeah. i get like four so i can still have the info one i don't have to change everything no um we you we use an info one for support mm -hmm. you know um but you just have to you have to be careful and you have to monitor and watch it um who uses just a google or a yahoo email i know i do dina what do you use Uh, that's a good question. What's I, your email address? So it's, it's me at my domain. So it is, it is my domain, but it's, um, I don't know. I think it's Outlook or is that not a, 
Not an answer. Outlook is not a domain, I don't think. Noel, is Outlook considered a domain? Um, it depends. There is an Outlook domain. This is more for sending out um, email marketing emails. Yeah, and, email. and doing business work, text or email or call MailChimp mm -hmm. and ask them what are the DNS records that they need to for you to send email campaigns in compliance. You would go back to GoDaddy. Uh-huh. With that information that MailChimp gave you, okay, okay, and you, and if and if you don't know how to set up the DNS records, you speak to someone at GoDaddy, tell them what you need to do, and they will set it up for you. Mm. Okay. Okay. So I presume um, then I can do the same thing with Vistaprint because my website was my domain name was purchased through Vistaprint. And then Wix hosts my website on behalf of Vistaprint. Correct. You go back to whoever owns your, wherever you bought your, your website from. Okay. So back in the beginning, you said that um, if, uh, if you don't use your domain, then they won't be delivered. If it's a Gmail or Yahoo, which I don't use, but by not being delivered do you mean um it goes to spam or it just goes no, to a like, vortex uh it's as if it was deleted i guess you would say it, it doesn't would, go, it would not it get goes delivered to the, to the the air yeah so it doesn't even end up in spam correct google.com and yahoo.com those are not professional business domains and what you're doing if you are sending marketing you're doing a professional oh, business okay. it's just it's just those two no uh, any free domain name any free oh okay okay so it could be it could be aol.com it could be oh, right. hotmail okay it, any of those free okay. ones okay. there are some companies that are not keeping up in the times right. like they okay. should mm -hmm. oh that makes um, sense okay so i don't really have to do that that'll happen somehow you need yeah. to reach out to them you have to reach out to them you have to reach oh. out to um mailchimp ask what dna dns records that um need to be done it's going to be an spf a dkim and a dmark which are those acronyms that she went over in the slides? One thing you can do is to help push your emails through um, is go to postmaster at uh, .google.com and you put in your domain name and you just run through the uh, um, what they tell you to do. And this will help verify your email as well. And then after you do the root domain, you do a subdomain. Um, for example, um, a root domain would be shortestseeproperties.com. A subdomain would be um, search.shortestseeproperties.com. Okay. And then you can, it'll send you reports and you can look things up and see how things are, are working. Um, you should regularly check Google Postmaster. You can set up reports. Um, keep your email list clean. Uh, don't email the people that don't want to be emailed to. Um, and make yeah. sure that your emails are always personalized um, to increase engagement and uh, um, to get people clicking on and opening on those, which is which is the goal.